Greetings everybody, Irish Trekkie back with another Star Trek Discovery, the official Starships collection from Eagle Moss. This has just been received through my subscription, the Tuplana Hath. Been looking forward to this one. Big fan of the Federation ships in uh, Discovery, as you already know. Of course you do, of course you. Like this video if you already knew that I like Federation ships. <laughs> um, so we're going to have a look at the Tuplana Hath and uh, see what goodies lay inside the magazine. So stay tuned. If you're interested in other Discovery ships, do check out the playlists in the description box below, along with the regular uh, Star Trek, the official Starships collection run, as well as some other sci-fi genres over there as well. Your support is greatly appreciated, so hit that like button and subscribe button. And if you want to support the channel as well, uh, you can find me over on Patreon, where you can contribute to uh, developing the channel uh, on an ongoing basis as well. So again, thanks for your support over there as well. So let's take the Diplana hat out of the box. We'll have a look at the model first and then we'll check out the magazine. Okay. So I have a new recording set up. Um, let me know if you noticed any difference at all. I'm very curious. Here we have the magazine nice graphic a lot of hull detailing here with some panel as teching and some interesting architecture as well so um engel class launched 23rd century length 387.73 meters uh, ncc 1004 so let's put this to one side and see what's underneath the packaging dun, dun, dun. Ooh, there's a little bit of skew Bit of a bang in uh, transit by the looks of it. No biggie. Um, here we have the base. It's a plan of half. 2859X slash X. And a small enough base mount, so it looks like it's going to be clicking in approximately here. And we have the main girl herself. So very slim it's very slender a lot of these ships it's almost like i'm seeing them for the first time because you only get such a fleeting glimpse of them in discovery for some of the battles but um look forward to getting up close in person so let's just do that and let's cut to a fade transition shall we okay so here is the diplana hat so let's get up close and check out some of the detailing on it uh nice paint quite um quite bold quite more bold than i thought it was especially at the kind of front of it kind of almost like atmospheric lines going down the length of the ship itself as well and um, you can see the paneling is quite evident to be honest with you a variety of different types of paneling if we can kind of get up here in close detail you have the Tuplana hath ncc 1004 and again it's in like a dark font on here as well i wish that was kind of like Maybe a little lighter to kind of uh, offset the kind of darker paint scheme on it. You can see a little bit of blue in behind the deflector. A nice little bit of detailing on the deflector. It's a little bit off. Nothing too crazy. You have your manoeuvring thrusters here as well. Sculpt is quite nice. You kind of see some textural detailings here. Some panel lines. Your bridge module. And again, some of those nice little red accents going throughout. No pennants on here. Oh, I tell a lie, here we go. And we have the smallest, that is among the smallest writing I've seen, <laughs> I think, to date. NCC 1004, or ventral section. I like this idea of this kind of, kind of underslung. You can have a look in there. They do look like doors. To be honest with you, almost like a Battlestar Galactica effect. Kind of run through, like you could see like ships coming in and going out. So this would be a nice carrier. It's a decent size as well. Nice plastic inserts for the impulse drives. Very slim and slender nacelles. Again, kind of going in line with the Discovery. Almost the same kind of overall structure of the Discovery as well, just with some slight differences. Much narrower bazaard collectors here no plastic but they are painted in which is quite nice i like this actually i like the detailing going down the line you can see the connective tissue definitely with the fleet 
Uh, I think John and the team did a fantastic job on these ships. Nice again, paint is evident everywhere. So plastic die cast. Die cast nacelles as well, which is quite good. So it is a very flat bodied design. But it has a little bit of elements of a few different ships to be honest. Like again, I think the most striking one really is the NX. For sure. And again the Discovery double pronged. And 10A. I mean, that's quite nice. I like that. I'm assuming just with the colour, we have some more maneuver and thrusters over here as well. No registry on the ventral section. But again, a very bold and dark paint scheme, heavily kind of panelled and Aztec throughout. But uh, the paint scheme definitely reflects this is a, an older ship, or at least it's kind of been through maybe kind of some atmospheric, you know, nebula. Just kind of soaking it up here. It's quite nice. Let's check what it's like on the stand. And uh, we'll go from there. We've yet to have a look at the magazine though, so stay tuned for that. So it sits very nicely on the stand. I was kind of conscious when I saw the, the narrowness of it earlier on, but again, with the design of the ship being quite flat, it does it does a decent amount of supporting it. Um, it's got a nice rake on it as well, so you kind of get a nice belly shot of the ship. And obviously with most of the Discovery ships, you, you have them kind of aft mounted on the base as well. So display, just be aware there is a lot of overhang with those long nacelles as well. So it could be a bit of a tricky one for sure. But I think all the Discovery ships have been tricky <laughs> when it comes to how to display these. Um, but it is, it's a pretty nice ship. I do like it. I do dig it. Okay, so again, this is number 17. I can't believe it's 17 in the collection. We have our two sections, the profile of the USS to plan a hat and designing the ship. Federation affiliation. And we already know some of those other details from earlier on in the video. So the USS to plan a hat was in service in the middle of the 23rd century and took part in the Battle of the Binary Stars. It was an Engel class starship that was named for both the Vulcan philosopher and the first Vulcan ship to open, uh, openly make contact with Earth. Um, the design features a saucer section with twin bars across the top that enclosed the front part of the warp nacelles which hung on either side of the saucer. A very shallow secondary hull was blended into the underside of the saucer and this part of the ship contained two large shuttle bays at the rear. The navigation deflector could be found at the front of the saucer as well. So some hallmarks in with some traditional Federation designs. So you have your large shuttle bays um nice nacelle configuration as well very enterprise uh, nx01 type of uh deflector array again we saw that in a variety of other ships as well and um, very interesting profile here actually as well you know it, it does hide the design until you flip it over to uh, looking at it from top down gloriously detailed render there as well so the ship that eventually became the Plan of Hath was briefly considered as a contender for the design of the Discovery. Interesting. I love these little tidbits. RCS units, a lot of nice hull detailing. Very cavernous, almost kind of, a, I don't know if their doors in here kind of looks like it, almost like a Battlestar Galactic kind of run through, but um, I don't think they are doors. I think the doors are in the aft section. So inspired by the NX-01, the Tapana Hat was named for a Vulcan philosopher and the first Vulcan ship to make contact with humanity. The ship that became the Tapana Hat was briefly considered for the Discovery and then the Shenzhou before being reimagined as one of the fleet ships. Uh, it was a very compact shape that its designer, John Eve, said had a lot in common with the USS Shran. Uh, Mr. Fuller was gravitating towards these very flat designs and since he liked that kind of shape, I started doing a lot of designs that were in the same territory. So again, we have a little bit of behind the scenes conversations here. Uh, this is used as a reference during the design process as well. So that's kind of cool. That kind of reminds me almost, it's almost kind of like a turtle, you know, um, terrapin kind of style design there. It's kind of cool though. Um, you can kind of see that as almost like if you took off the NCC, you could kind of see that as maybe an early like Dominion ship as well. That's just my initial kind of first reactions to it as well. Um, here we have some of the renders. 
uh, as well so kind of getting into the 3d saturn class again these all kind of went through various iterations and naming configurations and stuff like that as well and again extended out the nacelles too and then we have 3d model and the uh, concept painting on that as well so it's really cool coming up i'm really looking forward to the klingon raider very ornate very delicate jazz to get all of these ships as well so that'll close out on the magazine so let's wrap up the video shall we so that concludes our issue 17 of uh, star trek the official uh, star trek discovery even the official starships collection review uh, this may be one of my last videos before attending star trek uh, dst destination star trek even as you can see i'm trying to save all my wording good for <laughs> the convention so hopefully i'll get this up beforehand and um, if you're going to be at destination star trek on the 25th 26th and 27th of this month october as i'm recording this uh, be sure to come and say hi i'll be there and uh, tap me on the back or you know meet us up at uh, some of the meetups that we'll be uh, presenting over the weekend as well so do follow me over on twitter and instagram and facebook all the links are in the doobly doo down below um, as always thanks for taking the time out of your day to stop by and check out the video um, i've been your local irish trekkie and i will see you in the next one so take it easy and goodbye